हाई एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू नदर ब्लॉग होप यू ऑल आर इन गुड हेल्थ लास्ट थर्सडे वी हैड अ वेरी क्लोज फैमिली फ्रेंड इन्वाइटेड फॉर डिनर यू माइट नो हो निफला एंड हर फैमिली हैव शोन वंस इन अ ब्लॉग वेन वी वर इन दी अदर अपार्टमेंट एंड इफ यू फॉलोइंग मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम वी नॉर्मली गो टूगेदर फॉर प्रमोशन यू माइट हैव सीन हर इन दोज रील्स एनी वेज शी हैड बीन टेलिंग मी फ्रॉम समाइम ऑन टू कमिंग ओवर टू अर न्यू अपार्टमेंट so thought why not invite for dinner i wanted it for a tea party which i guess i haven't done a vlog on but unfortunately i couldn't this time as she was leaving for vacation to dubai to spend with her family and had some shopping to be done thursday night was convenient for them and this decision of vlogging wasn't there initially because it has been so many dinner vlogs these days i'm uploading and again a dinner vlog will be like moving on the thread and can be really boring but when i'm preparing something different it's always my pleasure to show you all those recipes and i have also included moments after that to show you how a day goes after a dinner party hope you will like it keep watching here it's too hot and ice creams are the best to beat the heat made mango ice cream and it's very simple guess mango season is over in india and monsoon has hit my homeland so for the mango ice cream here i used four ripe mangoes and blended three mangoes in a blender peeling off the skin from the four i kept aside one and that you will see later now mix this with one tin condensed milk keep that aside Here I used 500 ml whipping cream and mixed two sachets of whipping powder. Now add the mango condensed milk mixture and fold well. It doesn't have to be well blended as we will be doing it later. I transfer that to an airtight container and this will go into the freezer for 1 or 2 hours. Now take that back from the freezer and pour it into a bigger bowl. Use an electric beater and beat on high speed for a minute. Now the remaining one mango, I made it into small chunks. Add that to this and then along with that goes 1 cup tutti frutti. You may add a mix of chopped nuts and raisins instead of this. Now beat this on the lowest speed for 1 minute. transfer back to the container and leave that for getting set it's better overnight and that's my breakfast for the day similar to the one i had put on instagram reel for kids tiffin For the menu it was Szechuan fried rice and chili chicken again in the same style. For that I made a chili paste by soaking a handful of dried chilies in hot water and that gets soft. Keep that aside. For fried rice I used 4 cups of basmati rice and soaked that in water for some time. Meanwhile prepared a simple salad to have. I used a mix of red and green grapes to give a color. And these are seedless too. For the dressing used 3 or 4 tablespoons of olive oil, 2 tablespoons of chili sauce, quarter cup mayonnaise, half cup fresh cream, half teaspoon salt. and half teaspoon crushed black pepper 
For a sweetness, normally I add condensed milk. This time went for quarter cup honey. Now chop the grapes into whichever size you want or you can even add as such. To this I chopped two large cucumbers. I added one whole and a half first as these cucumbers were large in size but then there was enough dressing so added the rest half. Keep that chilled in the refrigerator until served. The red chilies have completely soaked. To get extra color, you can use Kashmiri red chilies. As I didn't have them, added this and it was a bit on the spicy side. Crushed to a paste, you may add a bit of water if you want. Heat some oil. I use sunflower oil. Make sure the flame is low and now fry the chilli paste in hot oil. Keep stirring. Once the chilli paste has changed the color, I added 1.5 teaspoon Kashmiri red chilli powder and that adds an extra color. Stir for a minute and this is done. Now fried rice will be made towards the end but few preparations can be made ahead. That includes frying the egg and sausages, so keeping those fried and ready. Now do not scramble the eggs as soon as you pour into the hot oil. Let it sit for a few seconds, then stir and again wait for a few seconds and make sure the flame is on high. This is just a beginner tip for those who are preparing fried rice for the first time or who don't know about getting eggs this way. Now after it's all cooked, break it into chunks and this way you get bigger chunks in your fried rice. Adding some more oil and frying the chicken sausages that's cut into small pieces. This is done. Now for the chili chicken in Shizwan style, you will have to fry the chicken pieces. For the marinade, into 1 kilo chicken pieces, I added salt, half teaspoon crushed black pepper and around 1 to 1 half tablespoon of the chili paste. Just give a mix. Add 1 or 2 tablespoons of corn flour and 1 egg white. Mix well and keep that aside. That's raw mango steaming for 10 to 15 minutes. It's for arm panna and that's a refreshing drink. It'll be served as soon as they come home. Time to fry the chicken pieces and this leftover oil will be used for the rest of the dishes. For the chili chicken, prepare a mix of sauces to be added, 2 or 3 tablespoons of soy sauce, 2 tablespoons chili sauce and 3 tablespoons ketchup. Mix well. I later added 1 tablespoon of vinegar as well but that I forgot to shoot.
Heat a pot, saute 2 tablespoons garlic paste and 2 teaspoons ginger paste. Adding some spring onion, let the raw smell go. Adding some chopped chilies. Then goes in the sauce mix. After a few seconds, add 1 tablespoon of the chilli paste. Mix for a few seconds. Then add 1 cup chicken stock along with 2-2.5 to two and half cups of hot water. Now make a slurry of 2 tablespoons corn flour mixed with 3 or 4 tablespoons of water. When this boils, add the corn flour mix and the gravy will start to thicken. Then goes in carrot and capsicum that's cut in julienne's. You don't have to add so much. I used a small carrot and a small capsicum. Now goes in the fried chicken pieces. Check salt and add if needed. Now to balance it all, I had added 1 teaspoon sugar. Finally goes in spring onion leaves. Mix and let this boil for 2 minutes and it's ready. Now along with chili chicken and fried rice, I served another dish. That's potato or gratin mixed with minced meat. Very simple and very delicious. For this you'll need bechamel sauce. Melt 150 grams of butter along with 3 tablespoons olive oil. To this add around quarter cup flour. Mix well till the flour is cooked in the butter. Add some salt and crushed black pepper. Mix for a minute and then goes in cheese. Here I have used parable cheddar cheese that's from the Kraft brand. Along with it added half cup thick cream. Mix well for a few seconds. Now goes in 1 litre milk. Keep stirring till the mixture goes thick. Use a whisk as this helps in breaking down the lumps if any. You don't have to get it extra thick as it will get more thick as it sits. Turn off the flame and keep that aside to cool down. And while that's cooling, the steamed mangoes have cooled down. You need to use raw mangoes for this. Here the one that I got from the store wasn't completely raw. Scrape out the pulp into a blender, removing the pulp even from the inner part of the skin. To this goes 2 green chilies, half tablespoon roasted cumin powder, half tablespoon salt, 1 to 1 1.5 cup sugar and a small piece of ginger. Blend well to a pulp. Now store this pulp in the fridge and use it as per your need. This remains good for a week in the fridge. Here for the potato au gratin, I used 4 medium potatoes speed. Slice to equal size to have it cook evenly. I use a slicer for this. Add this to the bechamel sauce and mix gently. For the minced meat layer, heat some oil. I use the same oil left over after frying the chicken. Saute 1 tablespoon garlic paste and 1 teaspoon ginger paste. Saute well and in goes a tablespoon of chopped green chilies. Then add 1 large onion that's sliced and saute well. Use a deep baking tray and layer half the potato mix into it. The onion is done. Now add half kilo minced meat. You can use beef or mutton. Mix well. Let this cook till the water is completely evaporated. You may add raw meat over the potato, but while baking, there will be a lot of liquid in the dish. So to avoid that, cook the meat ahead before adding to the potato. While that's being cooked, onto the other burner, preparing fried rice. Heat some oil. In goes garlic. You may either chop or crush. Let it saute till the raw smell goes. Add spring onion around 1 cup chopped. Then I added 1 1.5 cups chopped carrot and 1 1.5 cup chopped beans. Now this is optional but adds taste. It's 2 cubes of chicken stock. Make sure the flame is high. After 2 minutes, add 1 1.5 cups of chopped capsicum. After a minute of sauteing, add 2 cups of chopped cabbage. Mix for a few seconds. Add 1 teaspoon crushed black pepper 
and 1 tablespoon chili peas. Now add in the fried egg and sausages. Check salt and add only if needed. We will later add soy sauce so need to add it accordingly. Add chopped spring onion leaves. Now toss in the cooked basmati rice that has completely cooled down. Add soy sauce around 2 or 3 tablespoons. Toss well and gently without breaking the rice. Place it on very low flame for a few minutes keeping it covered and then it's ready. Meanwhile the liquid in the meat is gone. To this add it 1 half teaspoon cumin powder and 1 optional teaspoon paprika. Now spread this on top of the potato. Sprinkle some chopped coriander leaves. Add the remaining half of the potato on top. Cover it with aluminium foil. Place in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 1 hour, that's 60 minutes. After an hour of baking, do not turn off the oven. Remove the foil from the top and spread mozzarella or cheddar cheese on top. Now again bake it for another 20 to 30 minutes or until the top side turns to a nice golden brown color. They are here already so preparing the drink. Add some mint leaves in each glass along with quarter teaspoon salt. If you have black salt it's a better option. Then goes in 1 or 2 tablespoons of the mango pulp, add ice cubes as well. Here you can fill it with water but I use soda to give that extra sparkle to it. Mix well before serving. We were chatting for so long that I forgot to take the video and it got late to serve dinner. Unfortunately, I couldn't serve ice cream to kids as they had throat pain. Anyways, it was a refreshing night, having friends coming over and having dinner together. Next day, being a weekend, as usual the day after a party is always a lazy day. Had some of this leftover, kids wanted that as breakfast. I don't have a microwave oven, so I steamed it on a plate. My husband wanted avil or poha mixed with banana and grated coconut. That's a simple and healthy breakfast also eaten as an evening snack. I didn't feel like having anything much, had just a banana. Now for my indoor plants. I wanted to trim the dried leaves so thought to talk about it in this vlog too. This is Philodendron Blue Marks and it's a fast growing plant. I've been getting a lot of requests on this and the name for it. When I first came to Muscat, I had brought along just two or three stems with me. And now my apartment is full of this plant. 
In my previous video, I had shown the spot from which I cut the money plants. I don't know the name of this plant. If anyone knows, please do let me know in the comment section. This has been growing so well and I love to see it hanging. So please sit here. These were doing quite well but not all that I placed are back to life. Few had to be removed. Now you can see these, the roots have started to come. Maybe in my next vlog, I'll show on planting it in the soil. I don't have soil at home right now, I need to buy more. So we'll take you along for gardening shopping with me. Someone had asked what happened to the plant in this glass pot. It was growing pretty well in this, but then thought I'll place it back in the soil as the roots had cluttered in this pot. Have transferred it here. This plant grows really well. If at all I need more to plant, I take few stems with few nodes, place it in water. After the roots come out, I place them back in the soil and it grows quickly. This plant prefers bright sunlight. However, it also grows elsewhere too. Not all these are from the pot. This one is from the pot. And that's my Z plant or ZZ plant. I don't know the real name of it. I was not pretty impressed about this initially, but once when I had seen it in a real estate office where it was a humongous plant, it looked really pretty. So the one that I had, I transferred to a bigger pot here and hope to see it grow into a big and healthy plant. After some editing work, time for lunch. My husband's, one of his colleagues, is a professional photographer. There was an exhibition going on where photos of various professional photographers were displayed. One of his photos was displayed. So we went there to say hello. That tiger photo was taken by him. So that's all for my video for today and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Do try the recipes and let me know your feedback. See you with another vlog soon. Take care. Bye bye.